Hello, everybody. This is Namrita Notani from the law office of Namrita S. Notani, PLLC. I'm often asked this question by a lot of my clients regarding foreign inheritance. Uh, I have clients that have assets overseas and a lot of family overseas, and many times their uh, older parents uh, pass away overseas and leave them a lot of inheritance, whether it's real property or um, whether it's money in the bank balance. Uh, it's basically foreign inheritance. So if you are a a green card holder or a U.S. citizen here in this country, and you have a foreign inheritance uh, coming in from overseas, well, um, the taxes, you, you do not have to pay taxes, uh, specifically estate taxes for that foreign inheritance. So the law for a U.S. citizen or a green card holder is pretty much the same as a U.S. citizen regarding that. Um, there are no estate taxes for foreign inheritance from out of the country. The only thing is that there are definitely uh, tax forms that need to be filed when you get a foreign inheritance because a U.S. citizen and a green card holder does have uh, global uh, implications on uh, taxes and uh, has to pay taxes on worldwide income. Uh, there, the IRS wants to know that you did receive this foreign inheritance, even if they don't tax you on it. And uh, one may ask, well, um, if they don't really ta tax you on it, then why would you want to have this form filed with the IRS? Um, this form is a is called Form 3520, and uh, it needs to be filed uh, the year you do get that inheritance because the IRS wants to know because you are uh, a U.S. citizen and a green card holder. And uh, if they see that you haven't, if they find out that you have not filed this form and not notified them about this inheritance, unfortunately, just like a U.S. citizen, um, there are penalties um, that one has to pay um, even as a green card holder. And these penalties can get pretty expensive. So please do uh, make a note of that. The inheritance amount, of course, there is a a limit to it. I believe it's uh, anything over $100,000 needs to be notified to the IRS. Um, the penalty can be as high as 5% of the amount that is inherited every month that is delayed. And that can become quite a bit if you are considering, if you have uh, inherited a bit of money, if you are going to pay a penalty of 5% on that inherited money on the total amount for every month that you delay notifying the IRS, you can pretty much end up paying a lot of money to the IRS when in the beginning that money was totally not taxable. Uh, I do want to give you a disclaimer at the end of this video. I am not an accountant. I'm not a tax attorney. I'm an estate planning attorney. Uh, I am also an immigrant. Uh, I deal with a lot of these issues. I can give you a little bit of guidance on it. You are always, always uh, recommended that um, you should go to a CPA or a tax attorney and talk about any kind of foreign inheritance or any kind of uh, assets that, especially if you have assets out of the country, make sure that your tax filings are correct, that you are using a CPA that has experience uh, in those kind of tax filings so that you do not incur a penalty. A lot of times the issue is not whether the income or the amount is is taxable or not. The issue is more about whether that right form has been filed in a timely manner. And if it is not, it, the penalty itself becomes a huge problem. So again, please do the right thing. Please make sure that you are talking to the right people. You have the right advisors around you that you do um, file those forms. Uh, if you have uh, any other issues regarding estate planning, any other questions, uh, feel free to shoot me an email uh, at namrita.notanilaw.com. You can go to my website, notanilaw.com. You can book a call with me to um, get an appointment, speak with me regarding anything related to estate planning, especially if uh, it is international estate planning. Uh, I am available to you as a resource whenever you'd like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget uh, that if you do do that, you will get notifications if I add videos on this channel. Um, I continue to make videos on questions that you ask me. And so if as a client or even as a prospective client or somebody who's just curious about a question, please do send me an email. I will be happy to answer these in the form of video because I want to be a community resource for um, my fellow immigrants over here uh, who have still got ties to their homeland and who are sometimes confused about what happens when it uh, comes time uh, for certain situations of when somebody passes and how assets need to pass with the loved ones. Again, uh, Namrita Nortani from the Law Office of Namrita S. Nortani, and thank you so much for listening to me. I appreciate your time, and I hope you got something useful out of this.